this is my example of a double wide Lego road plate. And what I wanted to do was fit the Speed Champion cars in and make them look natural and comfortable. And I think they're eight studs wide now. Um, so what I wanted to do was take two road plate sets and put them side by side. So instead of one lane being a two-way intersection, now it's um, one road plate is one way, and then another road plate next to it is another way. And then what I did was instead of making the yellow tiles um, as the crosswalk bumpers or uh, speed bumps, I put them as the middle line dividers. And that looks a little bit more realistic to what I see on commercial roads. So as you can see here on the left, the Speed Champion Corvette looks like it fits very comfortably. And then uh, some of your older, what is that? six stud wide cars on the right um, also don't look too bad so they they look a little natural put together and if you can see in the back there I even put a little ATV um, so you can see what a even smaller vehicle looks like this was for my little block party DJ mock get the food cart there get the DJ booth with my uh, custom sig fig from the Lego store creator we just got one here in Annapolis Maryland this little drone flying above um, but I wanted a lot of people to show kind of the scale and the proof of concept because I was worried the roads were gonna be way too wide uh, but I think they look really good and then the greenery on the side so I'm from California and the way we have it is we have roads um, kind of some grass and trees and plants on the side and then the si sidewalk um, so the good thing is the green plates come inside of the road plate packs. So all the trees and all the green lining you see um, are part of the road plate pack. And I think they look really nice. I especially like how the uh, street lights glow in the dark and they come with enough to look really good. So by doing this double up method, not only do you have wider roads, but you double the amount of accessories you have so you can really uh, furnish your city. This is what um, six road plates look like. So at $20 each, about, that's like $120, $130 worth of road right here. But um, I use one, two, three, four, five, six tiles for the concert over there in the back. And what's nice is if you um, line up the little slopey plates that most people uh, wouldn't use. Um, you can use those to line up with the grass edges um, so you have a little bit more play for things like parking lot. Um, but here's another example of the scale and you can see that Speed Champion car looks very at home. It doesn't look like its uh, fenders are about to scrape the sides. Um, and then I just reimagined the trees as bushes but yeah, everything looks right. Everything looks to scale. We'll see how it looks uh, with some modulars in there. But I did see, what is it, Emma Soros's video where she only had one road plate, but I saw a T intersection, so it simulated like two plates and they look pretty good with the modulars. Um, and right now it looks to scale with the uh, minifigures and it looks to scale with um, the Ferris wheel there in the back. And I think there are a lot of really nice cars, especially the Speed Champion lines are coming out. So it would be a shame to have uh, Lego City and not include some of those cool cars.